In this video, I'm going to talk about some of the publishing options um, for your visualizations and how to um, either publish to Flourish or download your visualizations um, and everything like that. So the thing to know is that there are a couple of different ways to publish Flourish visualizations for the web. Um, and it depends on what kind of customer you are for some of the options, but I'm just gonna run through the ones that are available um, and tell you what's available on the free plan and what isn't. So the first and most sort of common way that people publish um, Flourish visualizations is to publish straight to Flourish to our servers and then to use an embed code um, to embed them on a web page. So to do this, there's this button in the top right corner that says export and publish. If it's unpublished, it's going to be black. And then if it's published, it's going to be green. And if it's published but has some unpublished changes, it's going to be orange. So let me show you how that works. So if I wanted to export and publish to Flourish, I would click this button, then click this button right here. And it's gonna ask me if I wanna publish it and um, if I want to make a password so it can only be seen with people who have the password, I'm going to say no. So I'm just going to click publish. And you can see now that this is turned to green. And you can see a preview of your public of your published visualization um, on this link right here. So that's what it looks like. Um, and then there are a couple of different embed options right below this for if you want to embed this visualization straight onto your web page. So the main is the main normal one is just this one right here, um, which is just a normal script tag, but we also have an AMP iframe and a normal iframe available as well. Um, there's also this option for paying customers to hide the Flourish credit when they embed the um, visualization on their web page. You can also click unpublish this project right here. Um, but I also want to show you what happens when you have something published and you make a change. So if, say, for example, this right now doesn't really have the right um, heading for this chart. It's actually uh, the 2009 to 2017 school years. So I'm going to go down here and change this subtitle to that. Um, and you should see here on the right hand corner, this is just changed from green to orange. Um, but I haven't published the changes. So green to orange means that there are unpublished changes for a published project. And if I go here, I can see that this still says 2009 to 2010 academic year. Um, and this says 2009 to 2019. So if I click this and click republish and go back here and refresh, this has changed. So this is a really good way to do sort of draft things on your website. So if you um, are a newsroom customer and you are making a bunch of um, sort of empty charts for a, an election that you just kind of want to fill in, you can make them and then you don't have to change the embed code or anything like that. You can just republish them to flourish, keep updating the data and they will update on your website. Um, the other option for publishing uh, is, well, one of the other options is to download an image. Um, and there's a couple of different sizing options. You can size the image um, however you want. Um, this specific template, you can download a PNG, a JPEG, or an SVG. In some of the templates, you can only download a PNG and a JPEG because of the way they're coded. They're not coded using SVG. Um, and you would just click download to download that and download to your computer. So that's just a static image. And then there's also one more option for paying customers, which is this download HTML option, um, which will download an H a minified sort of version of the chart um, as an HTML file. And that is a way for people who want to host their own um, graphics, so for them not to be on the Flourish server, um, to do that. 